Good afternoon. So we had a uh, spay event yesterday. So like I said in the video yesterday, it was kind of the kickoff for the season for me here on the western part of our uh, waters here in the river. And, um, you know, I want to make a video and I'm humming and awing and anding a lot because I was going to make some notes about this, but um, this video is primarily going to be about, and again, I don't want to make this long winded, but <clears throat> when I was at the event yesterday and I kind of alluded in this in the last video of protecting the rivers and we see a lot of money, time and research that is spent on how do we protect this sport? How do we communicate that? How do, how do we communicate our love, our passion for it? What can we do to protect it? What, what can we do to improve it? I don't have any answers for it. But the thing that I think of is what excites me the most about it and how do I share that with others? And the thing I have to think of is it's like connecting. If you have a good friend that's interested in something or even yourself, you're interested in something and they're not, how do you get that person excited? How do they get you excited about something? So you at least just go check it out. You don't have to participate in it. You don't have to do it every day. But I think if we can do our part, and again, I don't have an answer for this. I'm hoping maybe as a community, we can figure something out together. Um, I, you know, it, it's, it's funny, you know, this kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, fishing, exactly, you know, fishing, fly fishing, spay fishing, whatever it is, just the whole spectrum of it. And <clears throat> I think we need to learn how to, and I'm talking to myself on this, we need to do a better job at connecting with people first before we talk to people about why they should even care, just to be frank. You know, I mean, you think about it, somebody comes up to you and they're like, you should care about this. They may not be pointing their finger, but when they're talking to you, it feels like they're kind of pointing the finger at you like, hey, you should care about this. That's kind of one of the big reasons why I started the channel for my YouTube channel is because I just want the newest person to be excited about it. Yeah, I'm not a successful angler where I'm catching tons of fish. You know, I'm not out catching big fish or anything like that. You know, if that's the channel that people are on here for, I'm not that guy. <laughs> just point blank, I'm not that guy. I'll get better at catching fish over time. But... This channel is for people that are curious about fishing, that want to get involved in fishing, just to be a part of the environment, respect the environment, respect the culture of the surroundings of everything. And I think if we can find a way to connect with people better and make them excited about something, I think we'll have a better response and a better chance and opportunity at trying to chip away, if you will, at protecting our rivers, increasing the numbers of fish, because it's a big topic out there. You know, I mean, here in Washington State, the Olympic Peninsula actually closed down early uh, last year, um, 2021, just due to numbers. And we hear it every day. I mean, you know, when I say the, the term old timers, I mean that respectfully because they are the original men and women in this industry. And they've seen things from the 70s. You always hear about it. Ever since the 70s, things were just not as good. So again, I don't want to ramble by any means. Um, the only thing I can do to... I, let me rephrase that. I ask myself, Paul, what are you doing? What are you doing, Paul, to contribute to protecting the rivers, to protecting the sport, to getting people excited to get people involved and you know 
The only thing I can say is it's my passion when I talk to people about it. I'm excited about it. Um, I hope it comes out through my videos, through my posts, through my tone of voice. Um, and I just hope to maybe spark that interest in somebody where they're like, man, you seem really excited about this. I want to go check that out sometime or, you know, whatever it is. So I think just every day as we're out there, we're all ambassadors for fishing. We, we all are, you know, we don't have to have a title. We don't have to have some type of credentials or anything like that. I feel like as an angler, I have a responsibility to help the newest person to educate them the best I can with what little knowledge I have. Um, that's why the people that, whether they're older than me or younger than me, that have the experience, I want to know what they're doing and how they're doing what they're doing. But I think if we just take the bigger picture of things and we kind of shrink it down to what can we do to make this attractive to people, to, to, draw, to draw them in, if you will, I think we'll be able to connect and reach out to more people from there. So... In closing, um, I just hope each and every day we're out there on the river that, uh, you know, we're, we're all doing the right things. Um, I know there's days where I'm learning what not to do, which I'm thankful people correct me. And I just keep doing the things that it is I, I know that are right. And I just keep doing them each and every day. So um, I hope there is some value in this video. I hope you all hear my heart on this. Um, again, I'm not the political guy when it comes to all of this and everything. I just wanted to share that passion and I hope that all of us have an opportunity to get people involved with what we do. So I'll, I'll end with this. I feel very strongly if we can find a way to get people excited about our sport, I think they'll walk away with a little bit more of an understanding of, hey, that's what that fishing thing's about? Oh, okay, well, I thought it was X, Y, and Z, but now I realize it's actually one, two, and three, and, and this is why they're excited about it. So then when people see people um, maybe mishandling a fish the wrong way, um, they can tell them in a polite way, just be respectful about it. Um, you know, and we can... Uh, just do whatever we can to make it more enjoyable and um, better for the newest person coming in from there. So I'll leave it at that.